the nation's mass transit systems. Stay tuned to the CBS station throughout the day for further updates. John Roberts in New York. Good day. Paul, he okayed your request to take the rest of the afternoon off. So where are you really going, Jack? Come on, Will, tell me the truth. Why are you claiming you're the father of Gwen's baby? Because I am the father, Allie. And, and what do you care anyway? We're not friends anymore. You made that pretty clear. And we're not talking about you and me. We're talking about you and Gwen. I tried to set you two up, remember? I mean, it was a disaster. You were so upset about it that you tried to hate something that couldn't hit back. I was the one who bandaged your hand. So do you expect me to believe that you really got her pregnant the same night? I don't care what you believe. Look, I know that things got a little weird between us. I was wrong to think that you trashed my apartment trying to get my attention, and I'm sorry, but I still really care about you. Because you're a great guy, but I don't want to see you get stuck in a situation that you're going to regret just because you're too nice. I'm not doing this to be the nice guy, Allie. I'm doing it because it's the right thing to do. There's no way you're the father. You know it, and I know it. So who are you stepping up for, Will? Who are you protecting? Hey, hi, Gwen. Um, how you doing? I'm um, doing OK, day to day, you know? Mm. Is, uh, is Will here? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. So you, you come here or going? Uh, I'm going, actually. I'm suddenly not all that hungry. Oh, well, you gotta eat. Gotta keep up your strength for you and the baby. Yeah, I'm working on it. I can't believe it, Casey. You've made me so happy. Sounds like Casey just scored some big-time points with Celia. Yeah, he's good at that. Well, take care, Gwen. Yeah, see you around. Hey, guys, what's got you so happy? Hi, Mrs. Hughes. Your son has just given me the greatest gift ever. Really? What? I'm all ears. Honey, thanks for meeting me so quickly. How are you feeling? Not great, so this better be important, Mom. Well, you look pretty distraught. What's the matter? I'm okay. What's so urgent? <sighs> it's your brother. Something awful has happened. What? Is he hurt? Uh, um, Emily has left your father and moved in with your brother. Emily and Paul are living together? Yes. It's the most idiotic thing that he has ever done, and I'm sure that your father is devastated. For goodness sake, Mother, you scared me half to death. I thought, I thought that Paul had been in an accident or something. Well, I think this counts as a head-on collision, <sighs> but, don't you? I even listen to you when you say that something is an emergency. <sighs> this is Paul's business. Don't you even care that your father's probably nursing a broken heart? Of course I do. But to tell you the truth, I don't think that Dad and Emily have been happy together for a long time. And it's sad, but it happens. <laughs> change relationships fall apart why do I get the feeling that you're not talking about your dad and Emily forget it doesn't matter hello Mike sorry you have the wrong number hi something's happened to you and Mike hasn't it did a terrible thing, Mom. And I'm afraid that it may have cost me my marriage.
just happened? <laughs> You're not sure? No, I mean, how did it happen? How did we let it? Yeah. Could just say it was one of those moments where passion took over. Or we could say it was a mistake. minute marinades from Mrs. Dash, it's easy to accomplish the task of a super delicious dinner in no time. Four great flavors, each with 14 natural herbs and spices, no salt and no MSG. You'll bring extraordinary taste and superhero speed to dinner. Mmm. So honey, how was your day? You know, the usual. Marinate in minutes with Mrs. Dash. Love your color on the first day, but hate it when it fades away? Help seal it in with Nice and Easy with Color Seal Technology. Get up to six weeks of nonstop color, highlights, and shine. Keep that just colored feel with Color Seal in Nice and Easy. How color wonderful. One step color that lasts all day? Says who? For my money, honey, only Outlast will do. Outlast lasts up to 16 hours, even through eating and drinking. There's your proof. Now you know who's talking truth. Outlast lip color from CoverGirl. Looking for ways to cut your home energy costs? It's going to be a scorcher again tomorrow. Sweltering temperatures. Try the revolutionary new Tide Cold Water, the first detergent specially formulated to deep clean all your laundry, even whites, in cold water, saving you up to $63 a year on energy bills. Tide Cold Water gets out tough stains in cold water, even on whites. So for deep cleaning and savings on your energy bill, switch to new Tide Cold Water. The closer I get to you, the more you make me smile. Imagine a dental plan that performs when you need it. Crest Whitening Plus Scope, now in new Citrus Splash. Make me smile. Crest Whitening Plus Scope. You're on your own two feet now. <coughs> and want to do everything yourself. So we made Pampers Easy Ups with our stretchiest sides ever, so they're easy for you to pull on. <coughs> All by yourself. Easy for you. Easy Ups. Our Dennis is right across from one of the biggest theme parks in America. Start your big day with a big and bountiful breakfast, like the meat lovers, with ham, bacon, and sausage, plus eggs and pancakes. One of three big and bountiful breakfasts for just $4.99. Dennis, we're cooking now. You've got to be kidding! Will you be the next Publishers Clearinghouse winner? I can't believe this! August 31st, The Prize Patrol will surprise a new millionaire, live on TV. It, work, work. it could be you. Watch your mail or go to pch.com and enter. Tonight, Dave's got Adam Sandler. That's why they call me the Big Daddy. <laughs> Plus, the inventor of a helmet hummingbird feeder. You know why they hum, don't you? No, they don't know the words to the song. Tonight. Subways and buses bombed in London. U.S. cities go on terror alert. Details on tonight's CBS Evening News. So if you're not going to the station, where are you going? <laughs> it's a confidential case, Carly. I'm sorry. I can't talk to you about it. It's so confidential that you can't talk to Hal about it either. Oh, don't push this, Carly, please. You're still upset over the mystery with your father, and you're a little paranoid about it. Paranoid? Tell me, what's paranoid about wanting to know where my husband oh, is disappearing to? Carly, there have been cases in the past that I couldn't talk to you about for security reasons. What's with the third degree? Oh. <laughs> I know what this is about. You do? Yeah. You're sneaking around behind my back, lying to me about security reasons. Did you really think that I wouldn't figure it out? Figure what out? Oh, drop the act, Jack. Tomorrow's our anniversary. You're going to sneak away to get me my present, aren't you? I can't get anything over on you, can I? <laughs> Are you just figuring that out now? <laughs> well, I was maybe you worried that maybe you'd forgotten about it. You've been so caught up in digging into your dad's past. Oh, no, sweet. I will never forget the day we were married, no matter what else is on my mind. I love you so much. I love you, too. I'm sorry I was acting like that. I, I don't know why all this has no, got me so frustrated. You need to get your mind off it. i tell you what, I'll be done in about an hour or so. Why don't you, why don't you meet me in the, in the courtyard at Market Square? Hmm? We'll grab a snack, do a little shopping that we need to do for the kids. What do you say? All right. 
that is if you only need an hour to get me my present. Well, I don't know how much longer it's going to take to pick out a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Do me a favor, though. Please put that stuff away today. We'll deal with that later tonight. We can go through it together, okay? Okay. All right. See you in about an hour? Mm-hmm. Make out your face. And do I even know you? Hey, Mom, can JJ and I make some popsicles? Oh, sure you can. As long as you don't make them out of bubble gum. I can't believe how long it took to get that gum out of your hair. What's all that? It's it, nothing. Just stuff. I'm I'm just trying to figure out some things about my dad. Can I help? Oh, sweetie, I wish you could. You know something? Maybe you can. Really? Remember when Jack was missing? And the whole time he was gone, it was like you had this feeling that he was still alive. Do you remember that? Kind of. Would you like to play a game with me? Okay, but can we still make the popsicles? Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. As soon as we're done. Here. Here. Take a look at this picture. And let me know if you get any of those weird feelings like you had when Jack was missing. Something happened between you and Jennifer, didn't it? I don't want to talk about Jennifer. I swear I didn't know anything when I came to Chicago. Please don't think that I came here and followed you knowing that you guys were in a fight. I know you didn't. I hope you know I didn't follow you here either. <laughs> of course you didn't. Sneaking around's not your style. And it never will be. So us running into each other really was a complete accident. Any other day but today, I'd say, yeah. Uh, absolutely nothing more than that. What do you mean, any other day but today? Yeah. No, you don't know, I'm as practical as the next guy. I don't, I don't read my horoscope. I don't believe in palm readings. And <laughs> I usually, you know, I usually think about fate as something people write about in books, but... <laughs> you turned and looked at me in that hallway oh, when God. I saw it was you. Hmm. So you're starting to change your mind about fate. I'm starting to believe in it. Sorry that you feel that way, but you obviously need to talk about this, and so I'm here. You can tell me what's going on. I'm not going to be judgmental, Jen. Talk to me. What's happened? It can't be that bad. It was to Mike. What could you possibly have done to upset him? <sighs> the attack on Craig at the Lakeview. It was planned. I provoked him, and I staged the fall. But I only did it to get enough ammunition to get him off my back and keep him away from my baby. Congratulations. The end does justify the means. So Craig is out of your life, and he can't hurt you or your baby anymore. The fact that I've done something you approve of is terrifying. Well, did you have any other solution? No. But Mike doesn't see it that way. Oh, Mike didn't know. No. I went behind his back. And you did this all by yourself? You know, somehow this doesn't sound like your cup of arsenic. I had some help from Dusty. Oh, honey. That's what Mike was all riled up about. It's because you trusted another man and I, not him. It doesn't really matter at this point, OK? Because Mike is furious and he's left me. Where'd he go? Chicago. I don't know where exactly. Well, find out. Chasing after him at this point is not going to do any good. And sitting here crying in your decaf espresso is? Where does he usually stay when he's in Chicago? No, Mother, stop. I don't want you tracking him down. Look, do you want to save your marriage or not? Don't give him time to sit around and contemplate what he obviously sees as a betrayal on your part. You go to him, 
you make things right now. Otherwise, you're going to lose him and your marriage forever. Want younger looking skin in just 14 days? Revlon Age Define Makeup with Botafirm. Reduce lines up to 50% in just two weeks with Botafirm, a patented blend of hexapeptide and botanicals. Gorgeous, flawless coverage so your skin looks smoother, firmer, and more radiant. Age Define Makeup with Botafirm. From Revlon. All of us have internal plumbing. But for some of us with frequent urges, our pipes just don't work as well as they should. Sometimes you worry you could spring an embarrassing leak. So why deal with it on your own when there's something more you can do? Treat it once daily with Vesicare. New Vesicare can reduce urges and may even help relieve bladder leakage. If you have certain types of stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems, do not take Vesicare. While taking Vesicare, if you experience a serious allergic reaction, severe abdominal pain, or become constipated for three or more days, tell your doctor right away. Common side effects are dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision, and indigestion. So why wait? Ask your doctor today if Vesicare is right for you. Fewer urges and leaks. With new Vesicare, it's not just a pipe dream. It's not working. Let me see. Introducing French's upside down bottle. I don't get it. This is supposed to be upside down mustard. Boys. No watery mess, just mustard. In a world of softies, this guy stood for chocolate. Who? Me? New soft baked chunky chips ahoy. Now in stores everywhere. Flossing is tough, especially in the back. So, either get a flip-top head or the Reach Access Daily Flosser. It gets to 100% of hard-to-reach places between teeth to remove bacteria and plaque. Reach Access Daily Flosser. Grillers of America, here's a little secret that'll add more thrill to your grill. Pam for grilling. It's specially formulated for your grill's high temperatures, so food won't stick and cleanup's a snap. Fire up your grill with Pam for grilling. Another reason Pam is America's favorite no-stick cooking spray. Everyone with alcohol and drug addiction is in the same boat. With treatment, you can find solid ground. For drug and alcohol information and treatment referral for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. Wow, uh, commitment rings. I gotta say, I'm, I'm surprised. In a good way? Yes, because I know you came to this decision just to make me happy. Well, I happen to think it's very mature, not to mention refreshing. And courageous. You guys are gonna get a lot of flack from the other kids. We're prepared for that. Yeah? How about you, baby? Can you take uh, the heat? Nothing could be as bad as you doing this to oh. me in public. I think after that I can handle about anything. Uh, excuse me for a minute. I'll be right back. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm very proud of you. It's no big deal, Dad, but thanks. It's a bigger deal than you think. You see, when you're young, it's easy to make mistakes, and one can change the entire course of your life. I mean, all we have is our judgment. Some people just lose sight of that. Yeah, they sure do. I mean, take your friend Will. Although he's doing the right thing now, had he thought ahead like you're doing, things would have turned out differently. Yeah, they would. You shouldn't be smoking, Gwen. Oh, look. It's the lying virgin. Or should I say, virgin liar. How about big, fat liar? It was Celia's idea, okay? Oh, well, in that case. How long do you think you're going to get away with it? Oh, that's right. I forgot. It's a lot easier for you guys to be retro virgins than us girls. We just get one shot at the first time. You guys can pretend as often as you like. Hell, you can forget there ever was a time before and make everyone that very special first. He's up, all right? I know you're mad, but give me a break. Why should she?
Did you ever think that maybe that night with Gwen was such a disaster because we did have sex? Not for a second. Well, you're wrong. That's exactly what happened. We did it in the car and then got into a really big fight and I messed up my hand because I felt so stupid for doing something like that with someone I didn't know. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. Well, you're not that kind of person. Well, maybe I've changed more than you think. You're not the kind of guy who sleeps with a girl just to get over someone else. What are you talking about? You were in love with me back then and maybe even holding on to some kind of hope that we might get together. You wouldn't sleep with a girl you didn't even like. So it's all about you, then? No, I'm talking about you and the kind of guy you are and the big heart that you have. You're the kind of guy who would help out a girl and maybe can't handle things on her own. The kind of guy who would protect a buddy that doesn't have the guts to step up and be a real man. That's not the kind of guy who has sex with a girl and then throws her out of his car. Well, if you know me so well, Allie, how'd you ever think that I could have trashed your apartment? I was wrong. I thought that you were after me and angry because I was with Eric. Was. Yeah, but even so, there's no way that you would ever do something like that, no matter how upset or angry you were. That was my mistake. Maybe you're making a mistake now, too. No, I'm not. This lie has got you all torn up inside. I can see it. Hey, if, if you're going to lie about something this big, don't you think you should get some advice from an expert? So, what's going to be? Truth or dare? Truth. You're right. I'm not the father. Mother, the worst thing that I could do right now is go looking for Mike. He said that he needed to be alone to think. And what if after all that solitude and reflection, he decides to end your marriage? Now, Mike is a very forgiving man, but you need to give him a reason to forgive you. You need to go to him, tell him how sorry you are. Ever heard of out of sight, out of mind? Mother, you're not helping. You're not listening. You're right, I'm not, okay? I, sh I, I just, I can't talk to you anymore. I should never have told you in the first place. Jen, please, Jen! Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, where's the party? And, and can I come? I'm not going anywhere interesting, just running away from my mother. Oh, yeah, that explains the hurry. What does she do now? Usual, bad advice. About what? Hey. What's wrong? Mike and I got into a fight. Oh. And I will spare you the gory details, but he went off to Chicago to be alone, and she thinks that I should run after him and beg for forgiveness. Forgiveness? What did you do? You don't want to know. Uh, uh, just a second here. Did you say he went to Chicago? Yeah, why? It's nothing. Forget it. I know. No, 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 no. You have to tell me. Katie went to Chicago, too. Didn't say why. But she made it pretty clear she wasn't coming back anytime soon. The truth is, there's always been something fundamentally wrong with my marriage to Jen. From day one. I just... haven't let myself see it. So are you saying that you never really loved her? No, I did. I do. That's not the way I've always felt about you. Oh, my God. <laughs> like... I just, I fought it. I right? <laughs> pretended it was gone. I convinced myself it was your fault for, for not letting go. And you know, I refused to admit that I wasn't letting go either. I couldn't. Why not? Because I still loved you. I never stopped loving you. Coming up on As the World Turns. So you're gonna come back to me? No one should come with me. The Lake Shore is not the only game in town. That's where, that's where Katie's staying? Yeah, maybe. Whatever I have to do, whatever it takes, she will never know about this. Got gas? Pressure? Bloating? Tums doesn't treat gas. To treat gas, use Gas X for fast, powerful relief. Oh. Popcorn? Ooh. Gas X beats the bloat, and acids don't. Mr. Peanut may not talk, but he does speak the international language of fresh taste.
Well said, Mr. Peanut. Well said. Planters. Famously fresh taste. You know, there are still some people who don't know that the cost of their diabetes testing supplies may be covered by Medicare. Well, if you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, your testing supplies may be covered. Your monitors, your test strips, your Lancets, whether you use insulin or not. So to find out if you qualify, call Liberty Medical. Here's how it works. Liberty is a Medicare participating provider. They bill Medicare and your insurance company. You pay nothing up front. Your testing supplies are delivered right to your door and no charge for shipping. You have nothing to worry about because when it's time to reorder, Liberty will remind you. Call Liberty Medical. They can help you live a better life. To find out if you qualify for home delivery of diabetes testing supplies, call Liberty at 1-800-292-0096. That's 1-800-292-0096. It's a hover round. Hover round has given us more independence because we can now do some of the things that we had to stop doing. And I just say God bless Hover Round. Hi, I'm Tom Cruise, inventor of the Hover Round. When I started this company, it was with one goal in mind, helping people be independent. I don't have to have help doing things anymore. I can depend on me. And Hover Round had showed me the mobility that I liked. For the first time, I got out in my neighborhood. You can be independent, too. Start today. Just call for free information. I take care of all the work with your doctor, Medicare, and insurance to help you get your hover round at little or no cost. She's right. This past year, 9 out of 10 hover round owners paid little or nothing for their power chairs. Call us and put my team to work for you. Call 1-800-430-5454 for your free test drive, information, and video. That's 1-800-430-5454. There's no obligation. Call now. CBS Monday. One of these people will get the chance to become the lead singer of a world-famous band. Their legal secretaries, real estate appraisers, and coffeehouse workers. But to live their dream, they'll have to outsing, outperform, and outrun the competition. Battling on stage with the greatest songs of all time from the Rolling Stones, Kiss, Janis Joplin, and more. Be there for the first note when Dave Navarro and Brooke Burke host Rockstar in Excess premieres CBS Monday. Resorts East Chicago, the best casino just got better. American Mattress. Get the mattress of your dreams with the service, selection, and prices you deserve. We want you to declare your independence from high prices. Get a Serta Luxury Pillow Top Queen set for only $349. You even get free delivery, free bed frame and setup, plus free removal of your old bed. Remember, only Serta has fire blocker, not Sealy, not Simmons. Buy now and get a free family fire safety kit. American Mattress. Comes a good night's sleep. Call 1-800 to dream. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday. It was a routine procedure. I just don't understand what went wrong. I hope Balkan and Eisbrook don't hear about this. The Illinois legislature has placed limits on awards for pain and suffering. Don't be a victim twice. Call 1-800-INJURED to preserve your rights. Hurry, time is running out. I'm attorney Chuck Balkan. You know my firm. If you or someone you love has been the victim of medical malpractice, call Balkan and Eisbrook. We've been making things right for over 35 years. Call 1-800-INJURED today. Let us make things right for you. She used to be your landlord. For anyone who pays rent, you'll want to see this case. The only way to get him out was to have him arrested, which is what you did. I felt unsafe. You are full of baloney. Next Judge Judy. Today at 2 on CBS 2. The new drama, Close to Home, coming Tuesdays this fall to CBS. You have no idea how long I've waited to hear those words. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> I can't believe it. You love me. Mm, what's wrong? It's just... What are we gonna do now? I don't know. You're married to Jen, and she's having a baby. I've made a commitment to be a father to that kid, I know. So what happened? What did you two fight about? I promise I'll tell you everything, but, but I... First, I gotta talk to her about all of it, about 
all this. So you're going to go back to Oakdale? Yeah. And I want you to come with me. Let's not jump to any conclusions here, Jen. Chicago is a big town, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, and they, 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 there's lots and lots of hotels, and some of them are magnificent, some of them are, you know, not so great. And, and the point being that the, the Lake Shore is not the only game in town. That's where, that's where Katie's staying? Uh, maybe. Of course it is. She has every reason to be mad at you, Casey. Why is that? She's probably mad at both of us. Great timing, huh? We decided to make a huge deal about this whole virginity thing just when you and Will. I didn't want you to find out this way. I wanted to talk to you myself so it didn't seem like, like a slap in your face. Hey, it's your life. Why would I be upset? And hell, I don't blame you. Who in their might, right mind would want to end up like me? Don't think that way. I don't really have much of a choice. Casey, could you give us a minute? I kind of need to talk to Gwen alone, and your parents said they need to talk to you. Yeah, I'll be inside. Talk to me about what? It feels like you're mad at me. I'm not. My moods are just all out of whack lately. I'm just trying to get a handle on my life. I can imagine. Is Will helping you with that? Yeah. He's been great. He's uh, getting me to eat right, take care of myself. He's a terrific guy. Yeah, I'm finding that out. Look, don't worry about me. I'm OK. Things are coming together. I think I've figured out a way to make this work for everybody. I'm not sure what that means. It means that everything's cool. At least it's going to be. Then I'm happy. I'm, gl I'm glad for you and for Walt, too. So you are protecting someone else? Yes, but don't ask me who because I can't tell you. Well, who it is is none of my business. It's just weird that you would take on someone else's responsibility when it's this huge. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, but you've been kind of a loner since you got out of the hospital. You don't have that many friends. You're not the kind that you would. I know who it is. Allison, let this go. Oh, it's Casey, isn't it? He's the only guy I can see you doing this for. Allison, I said let it go. Casey doesn't know he's the father, okay? And he's never gonna find out, and you can never say anything to him. Oh, Will, trust me, I won't have to. So? Anything? Mom, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I don't know, I just... I thought that maybe you'd get some kind of vibe about the picture, you know, like you used to get. You didn't always like it when I told you about those. Well, I promise that I won't be angry this time. So here, try again. <clears throat> What's the big deal about this picture anyway? That's your grandfather right there. And I'm trying to figure out who that lady is who's standing next to him, but her face is so blurry there, I can't make out her features. That's easy. Photoshop it. What do you, what is that? Don't you know what Photoshop is, Mom? No, I don't. What is it, some special kind of digital camera or something? No, it's on the computer. You can make the picture bigger, change the color, anything you want. And you have this on your computer? Duh, everybody does. And, and, and you can make this picture bigger on your screen? You have to scan it first, then put it in the file, and that's it. <sighs> well, let's go! And so how do you do this scanning thing? Do you do that on the computer, too? Don't you know anything, Mom? Nah. First of all, thank you. I know you went out on a limb. I appreciate it. Well, maybe you should hear what I found out before you thank me. You're starting to scare me, Jess. What the hell happened? How was Carly involved? There was an incident at the clinic. It involved an infant boy. Now I understand why the records were sealed, Jack. It, it was horrible. Just tell me. Maybe you should read this for yourself. 
These are the sealed records from the courthouse. Great deals on PCs waiting for you now. Like this Dimension 2400 desktop. It's yours for $299. Plus, get a free printer. Get more out of now. Dell PCs use Intel Celeron processors. The Veet Rosera Bladeless Kit makes shaving without a blade even better. With a new flexible head and dual fins, there's no cuts, just smoothness that lasts up to twice as long as shaving. Veet smoothness, a feeling that lasts. Get your smile on. Pass the smiles, pass the fun. A different lace for everyone. Bring a smile to your lips. Another lace you can't resist. Picking the shoes you can't go wrong. Lace. Get your smile on. The method doctors use to remove warts at the office is now available at home. Dr. Scholl's Freeze Away Wart Remover. Just press and freeze. It safely works with as little as one treatment. See, that was easy. <laughs> to remove warts fast, see the doctor, Dr. Scholl's. Imagine a dental plan that's sensitive to your desires. Introducing Crest Sensitivity with whitening plus scope freshness. Finally, the maximum strength sensitivity protection you need I'm gonna get you. with the whitening and scope freshness you want. Make mine a double. Crest Sensitivity, part of the Crest Dental Plan for healthy, beautiful smiles for life. Dance into this beat, you start to feel the heat. Makeup meltdown, not on this street. Only from CoverGirl, new Outlast makeup. Two steps now to all day wow. One, the prep step smooths pores, shine is gone. So two, the makeup stays fresh, stays flawless, stays on. Through salsa, spins, mambo, I don't know. And it stays fresh, even on the tango. Check out the new step, two step Outlast makeup in the silvery blue box. Only from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Break away from the feel of drying hair color and enter a world where color is lush, rich, and radiant with Hydrians. Now with premium size Pantene After Color Therapy, our deep moisturizing color cream is combined with Pantene Pro B conditioners to give you twice the moisturizer for twice the color radiance. It's a saturating color elevating experience that leaves you wanting more. Hydrians with Pantene feels like heaven, looks color wonderful. Last summer, Big Brother brought together a long-lost brother and sister. And when their identities were revealed, it blew the roof off the house. Oh, my goodness. All we have to say is, you ain't seen nothing yet. Now, Big Brother is back with 14 new house guests and one big twist so outrageous, it will take them all totally by surprise. Don't miss the twist. Bring it on, because you're going down. The season premiere of Big Brother, CBS Tonight. It's not possible. Somebody made a mistake. Oh, Jack, I know how upsetting no, this no, is, but... this didn't happen. It's not true. The records don't lie. And now you have to think about what you're going to do now that you know. If Carly is as hell-bent as you say she is about finding out the truth... Jesse, she's not going to find out about this. I promise you that. Whatever I have to do, whatever it takes, she will never know about this. Ever. I thought you could only do this kind of stuff in the movies. This is the easy part. Oh, it is, is it? Parker, you are a genius. Now can I make those popsicles? Yes, you can, absolutely. Oh, and that, that's a babysitter at the door, so why don't you let her in on your way down, okay? On my way to the kitchen. Parker, you're amazing! You know that! <sighs> I know this woman from somewhere. I'm sure of it. My beautiful boy! What have you done to my boy? What's wrong? Nothing. Um, just don't say congratulations like Will and I are a couple or anything because we're not, we're just friends. Oh, okay. 
I've got to take off. Um, I have to go find Will and tell him something. Okay, I'll catch you later. Wait, ten minutes ago you guys were telling me how happy you are about this kind of thing, and now you're grilling me out. No, we're, we're happy about it. We just want to know what prompted this decision. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you thought it through. What do you mean? Well, if this decision is about waiting to have sex until after you're married... It kind of implies there's going to be a wedding. Who said anything about a wedding? Bottom line is, Celia the girl that you want to spend the rest of your life with? I don't know, maybe. I mean, I haven't really thought about it that way. And you shouldn't have to, not yet. <sighs> Look, all we want to know is... You know, you may be so anxious to get the payoff of this promise that you jump into something that at the age of 18 you're just not ready for yet. So you'd be getting married for the wrong reasons. Which is a real bad way to start. Whoa, whoa, wait. Just back up. Why do... Why do parents have to take something simple and make it all complicated? Oh, that's what we do best. Look, we're just trying to take the pressure off ourselves. I mean, who knows what we're going to be thinking or doing when we're 18. That's like a lifetime away. No, that's like a lifetime away from us. It's only a year away from you. Oh, so then what are you saying? This commitment thing's a bad idea? No, no, actually, all we're saying is we want you to be as smart about your future decisions as you're being about this one today. No, actually, I have one more thing I want to say. Look, I know that he's your best friend and all, but is Casey really worth saddling yourself with a lifetime of responsibility? Somebody's got to do it. Yeah, but that somebody should be the real father. Well, that's not going to happen, so just drop it, okay? Hey, you're not really doing this for him anyway, are you? What's that supposed to mean? I think this is more about Celia than Casey. How'd you get that? I know you better than that. You're falling in love with her, aren't you? So what if I am? You know she's in love with Casey and you want her to be happy. If she found out Casey was the father, she'd be crushed. I see, that's where your logic falls apart. Because if that were the case, then wouldn't I want that to happen? Yeah, except for the fact that you probably don't think that you're good enough for her. Look at my track record. Would you wish me on anybody? I think that you're great. And I hate the way that you always sell yourself short. Look, Casey and Celia are happy together. All right, they're in love. And that's really hard to find. But I don't want to mess that up. And besides, I think Gwen's actually starting to depend on me, and I kind of like being able to be there for her. I think I can make this work where everybody's happy. Even you? Even me, yes. So please, Allie, don't say anything about this to anyone. I'll go back with you. And I'll give you all the time you need to work things through with Jennifer, okay? Thank you. And just take it a step at a time. And let me tell you, you don't need to make any promises to me. I mean, whatever happens, you made me very happy today. I love you. I know. We're about to get into that weird part. You know that, right? I don't know how long this is going to take to play out, and I don't want to hurt Jennifer any more than she has to be. No, I don't either. I trust you to do the right thing. I just don't, I don't want to make any promises I can't keep to Jennifer or to you broken enough already. There's a lot of reasons I love you, and that's one of them. I just want to do right by everybody. I know. We'll work everything out, baby. Okay? I, I, I just, I don't want this to be another goodbye for us. Shut up. All right. A step at a time, remember? A step at a time. Oh, I love you, my Kasanoff. As much today as I ever have. If you have teenagers, you have a continuous odor problem. Is this how I raised you, honey? The Elf's fan is amazing. It constantly works. One day, I just stuck it right up here. I walked in the closet. I was going to throw some more clothes on the ground. I noticed it smelled good in there, so I looked around. You said, my, what a change. I, I saw that thing. The Elf's fan. The Elf's fan. Eliminates odors in the ear, even from odor-causing bacteria. Bingo. I love this. Get odors out with the Elf's fan. S.C. Johnson, a family company. We look all right? Well, I take pain medicine for my arthritis. She takes it every day. 
I didn't know it could put me at risk for stomach ulcers. She didn't know. Oh, you didn't know either. If you take certain pain medications on a continuous basis and you're 60 or over, you may be at risk for a stomach ulcer. I didn't want to give up my pain medicine, so my doctor... Yeah, Dr. Wagner is a very smart man. ...prescribed Nexium. To take with her pain oh, medicine. For people at risk, one prescription Nexium pill a day can help reduce the chance of a stomach ulcer caused by certain pain medications. My doctor did say that headaches, diarrhea, and abdominal pain could be side effects of Nexium. Talk to your doctor and find out if Nexium, the purple pill, is right for you. For a free trial offer, call 1-800-79-NEXIUM or visit us online. Now she doesn't worry so much about ulcers. It's nice. If you're without prescription coverage and can't afford your medications, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Want to know a secret? Some grown-ups don't eat their vegetables. That's why there's Delicious Ensure. Complete balanced nutrition, vitamins, minerals, food energy. If you don't eat right, eat smart. Ensure, nutrition for a healthier you. Got an itch? Scratching tears up skin. Maximum Strength Lanocaine saves your skin from scratching with maximum anti-itch medicine and antibacterial to help kill germs. Lanocaine stops the itch, saves your skin. How far would you go? For the great deli taste of French's bold and spicy brown mustard. French's, it tastes that great. Wow, what a day. Driver, to the playground at once. The scenic route, please. <laughs> Huggy Supreme Baby Wipes. The best combination of softness and thickness for gentle and thorough cleaning. Ah, uh, only the best. <laughs> Tonight, a disturbing case will push one CSI over the edge. What is your problem? Seidel, you're on suspension. CSI, then an heiress kidnapped. Now, America will decide if she lives or dies. The tally started. She's losing. Without a trace after CSI, CBS Tonight. Guess what? Our son is a genius. Did you know that there's a computer program that can enlarge photographs just like the professionals do? Yeah, we gave it to Bart for Christmas, remember? Look how it paid off. Uh, it's still not crystal clear, but you can make out some of her features now. Honey, you, you promised that you are going to let this go for a while. I know this woman, Jack. From somewhere, somehow I know her. I just can't put my finger on the details of it yet. Really? I think, I think it has something to do with the dream I had. You know, with the woman who was calling out to her you're little boy. You're getting yourself worked up again. Please, just put the photo away. We've got a lot of shopping to do for the kids. Tomorrow's our anniversary. Let's put those things first, please. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. It's just that the answer is right there. I know it. I can almost see it, but not quite, and it's driving me crazy. I don't want anything driving you crazy. Let's make today about us. Okay? I want you here with me. Oh, here I am. We'll figure this out eventually. is already becoming a young adult. So don't you think the fact that he's decided to remain a virgin speaks to how responsible this kid is? Or how terrified? One can be both. You know, eventually, you're gonna have to let this kid go. Oh, kicking and screaming, baby. Kicking and screaming. So what are you two talking about? You know, that's a good idea. I think I'd like a latte, too. Honey, would you give me one? Sure. So where were we? I mean, are you still okay with all this? I was never not okay with it. I think it's a great decision. I think that you have very good judgment, and, and actually, I'm you know I'm grateful. Grateful for what? For making Tom and me look like we haven't done such a bad job after all. Well, you have. Casey, I think it's great that you're taking control of your life at such a young age, and, and that you're thinking beyond the moment. Maybe it'll keep me out of trouble. Well, I hope so. I hope so. Because look at Will. Thank God you're not in his shoes. Celia, how well, nice to bump into you. Hi, Miss Ryan. Hi. I think I owe you an apology. For what? Well, the last time we crossed paths, I was pretty agitated. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to find out about Will's baby that way. Yeah, me too. 
and I just didn't want to believe it at first. I just hope that things work out. Why wouldn't it? Well, honey, I, I just don't think that Will and Gwen are very compatible. And I don't think it's any secret that I would have preferred that my son be with someone more like you. Give Gwen a chance. I think she'll surprise you. I hope so. I just don't think that they are prepared in any way to raise this child, which is why I plan on being there every step of the way. How do Gwen and Will feel about that? <sighs> Having a baby changes everything. Eventually, they'll realize how much they need me. And of course, any influence to that end that you might have with them would be very appreciated. You have a good day. It just sounded really urgent. Is the baby okay? No, the baby's fine. Um, but I have made a decision, and I wanted to tell you right away because you've been really good to me, Will. You've helped me out so much. Happy to do it. And believe it or not, I'm actually starting to feel kind of connected to this kid. That's not a good idea. Why not? I've made a big decision, Will. I'm giving the baby up for adoption. I wish we could stay here as long as we wanted. I know. I know we can't. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. What is it? Jennifer's here. Mike, honey, are you in there? What do you want to do? inevitable. So open the door. Hey. Can I come in? I know I told you that I would that I would give you some space and some time to Tell me that this is not what it appears to be. I can't say that. It wouldn't be true. On the next as the world turns. Is it set then? They want me to be absolutely sure. Are you? You lured Mike here somehow. You knew that we were having a fight and you used no, it. No, no, Jen. This is about what we did, not Katie. Tonight really wasn't my last night. blood pressure and cholesterol, I'm at a higher risk for a heart attack. So to protect my heart, I exercise. He could do more.